Do you know when I have come across immorality in artist circles? Oh, good God, no. Norwegian playwright Henrik Ibsen had a knack for tackling the taboo. None of us are perfect, which is the perfect play. Ain't nobody perfect in this play. The controversial play is called Ghosts, and helping tell the story, two Hollywood veterans, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio, known for Color of Money and Scarface, and David Strathairn, an Emmy Award winner with a robust resume. Oh, uh, tell me. But both actors are equally accomplished on stage and saw Ghosts as a unique proposition. They'll always invite the English in to do these plays, but we will rarely get an opportunity to do them. Is it a joy for me? In the play, Mary Elizabeth portrays a woman trying to rebuild her life after the death of her unfaithful husband. And David is Pastor Manders, a crusader for the established laws. It's about the past. Who are your guides? Your ghosts or your spirits? Yeah. You're gonna... Things you carry with you that are either buried or maybe a little bit more present. Maybe they're sitting on your shoulder. They should keep themselves away from temptation to begin with. You won't get very far telling that to young people in love. No, you certainly won't. <laughs> the script is a new translation by Ibsen scholar Paul Walsh. Paul's adaptation, Paul's translation is, um, is really incisive and it's really difficult because so much is embodied in less. Where's the pastor gone? I just told you, he's gone down to the orphanage. It's not translated yes. with an English ear, and just the rhythm of speech is Oswald more American. Really so and he's came. whittled it down enough so you hear what's the essence of it. And, uh, and that was very intriguing. But my God, Unlike you're the name itself, the Ghost is back with new life and on a new stage, a 19th century tale with a message for today. What is it you object to in these books? Ob object to? Mm -hmm. you, you don't think I spend my time reading such things? You mean you don't know what you're condemning? Uh, well, I, I've, I've read enough about such things to condemn them and uh, disapprove of them.